For many of you, the answer is a mystery. What salary can 2D artists expect? How much do they make in general? And which job offer will get them their money's worth of experience before quitting for good or getting another position? All are questions that have no clear-cut answers, but it doesn't stop us from trying. Today's video should give you some insight into how much these artists deserve when considering time spent on artistry. And we will also share some tips to help you kickstart your career. But before, you should probably ask yourself one important question. Are you willing to give up money for art? Creating art for a living can be difficult. It's easy to get caught up in the magic of your work and lose track that you're not making enough money out of this stuff. There are many ups and downs when it comes to freelance careers. 2D artists are compensated on a per hour basis according to the general industry rates. Typical rates are obtained by direct communication with freelancers with experience in this industry or by reviewing rates submitted on Upwork and Guru sites, but can also be obtained by conducting interviews if none of these other methods are available. With that being said, let's get down to the good stuff. Is your artwork worth the pixels? Almost $60,000 is the average salary for a 2D artist. This is based on a recent survey of over a thousand HR professionals and employers across a wide variety of industries. To give you an idea, let's go through a few examples of 2D industries and their respective average salaries. Please bear in mind that these rates are approximate and are subject to many variation factors like experience and location. For example, a 2D artist living in New York will make more than one living in India, so please do take them with a grain of salt. Let's start by exploring the tabletop gaming field first and look at a few examples. For RPG cover art, the entry level ranges from $1 to $500. The intermediate level ranges from $500 to $850. The advanced level ranges from $850 to $1800. And the expert level goes from there and above. For RPG maps, the entry level ranges from $1 to $250. The intermediate level ranges from $250 to $500. The advanced level ranges from $500 to $800. And the expert level goes from there and above. These rates are specific to a single page with colors. For tabletop mini designs, the entry level ranges from $1 to $120, the intermediate level ranges from $120 to $220, the advanced level ranges from $220 to $320, and the expert level goes from there and above. That's approximately an increment of $100 for each higher level. For CCG and TCG art, the entry level ranges from $1 to $250, the intermediate level ranges from $250 to $500, the advanced level ranges from $500 to $800, and the expert level goes from there and above. The fiction field is also very interesting, and we collected a few examples to highlight that. For book covers, the entry level falls between $1 and $1,600. The intermediate level falls between $1,600 and $300. The advanced level falls between $1,300 and $4,600. And the expert level goes from there and above. For maps, the entry level falls between $1 and $250. The intermediate level falls between $250 and $500. The advanced level falls between $500 and $800, and the expert level goes from there and above. For online content that is fully colored, it goes exactly like the maps, but it can have variations depending on many factors, like the type of the online platform and the content itself. When it comes to the comics field, the market offers some very interesting rates according to each phase of the production pipeline. For comic page pencils, the entry level falls between $1 and $140. The intermediate level falls between $140 and $280. The advanced level falls between $280 and $420. And the expert level goes from there and above. 
For Comic Page Inc., the entry level falls between $1 and $60. The intermediate level falls between $60 and $120. The advanced level falls between $120 and $180, and the expert level goes from there and above. For a fully painted comic page, the entry level falls between $1 and $220. The intermediate level falls between $220 and $440. The advanced level falls between $440 and $670, and the expert level goes from there and above. For a comic cover painting, the entry level falls between $1 and $500, the intermediate level falls between $220 and $440, the advanced level falls between $440 and $670, and the expert level goes from there and above. Another major field that's worth mentioning is 2D animation, since it has taken over a huge part of the 2D industry and it's even growing. There are a few subfields that offer interesting compensation rates too. Again, please note that these rates are only rough estimations and can vary greatly depending on many factors, so please do take them with a grain of salt. For motion graphics designers, the entry level's average hourly rate is around $26, while the yearly salary is about $44k. The mid-level's average hourly rate is around $34, while the yearly salary is about $71k. For the senior level's average hourly rate, it's around $45, while the yearly salary is about $110k. For storyboard artists, the entry level's average hourly rate is around $28, while the yearly salary is about $41k. The mid-level's average hourly rate is around $34, while the yearly salary is about $72k. The senior level's average hourly rate is around $39, while the yearly salary is about $120k. For concept artists, the entry level's average hourly rate is around $27, while the yearly salary is about $58k. The mid-level's average hourly rate is around $30, while the yearly salary is about $89k. The senior level's average hourly rate is around $42, while the yearly salary is about $136k. These rates may seem absurdly good, but it's very rare for a freelancer to produce paid art week in and week out for years on end. Besides dealing with your time and money, there are many other things that a freelancer needs to worry about. Do not get excited thinking that for the rest of your life you can paint book covers every week for 260k and achieve expert status. Sadly, this is not true in reality. An artist who works independently can expect to make in a year about a thousand times their hourly rate. You spend 40 hours on each cover if you are skilled enough to do those 5k covers. Your hourly rate comes out to $125, so if you work hard for the entire year, you can make 125k. It's still a nice amount of money, but much more realistic than the initial estimate. At this point, you might be asking yourself how to succeed in this 2D designer industry for a great salary. We have 5 tips for you. 1. If you're applying for jobs as a 2D animator, you need a well-designed portfolio website and trailer. You should try to keep your demo reel under 2 minutes. It's better to give a 30 seconds reel of your best work ever than a 2 minute reel with mostly unimpressive work. Number 2. At the beginning and the end of the reel, include a title card with your contact information so they don't have to look for it after they have viewed your reel. Share your reel on social media sites like Vimeo and YouTube. Number 3. A variety of regional, national, and international societies offer networking and learning opportunities for animation professionals. Being a member of SAS gives you access to thousands of expert contacts and the contact information of thousands of animation professionals. Number 4. Getting your career off to a great start is all about networking, whether it's networking through LinkedIn or another social media platform. Securing an informational interview or attending industry events, networking is essential. The majority of boot camps have their own job boards, some colleges also provide them, and every studio has its own job board. Keep a running list of studios you'd like to work at and visit them frequently. 5. 
The majority of employers in this field require at least two years of experience. Starting a passion project is a good way to gain experience before you take on a job, especially if you have no prior experience. You can attract potential employers to your work by creating your own short films. So, at the end, let's have a final verdict. Is the 2D design industry profitable? The truth is, you're responsible for your success. No one will give it to you. So, it's up to you whether the community can help steer you in the right direction in life, with insights or other, or make you spiral into more doubt and questions. Even so, there are communities out there that might be just what this kind of people needed when it comes to guidance and mentorship. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.